Hello, and welcome to How to Win at Goldstick. Um, I'm going to be talking through how I play and try to get to a win on green deck. This is one of the few decks I haven't beaten yet. Um, you'll notice I didn't start at the beginning, and that's because you just kind of have to restart until you find a, a, a semi-decent run. Um, so I was just kind of waiting. Uh, we got Stuntman, which is, in my opinion, the best Joker in the game. Or one of. Vagabond is the best Joker, but, uh, well, the most consistently broken Joker. Um, but Stuntman's insane. So if we get any multiplier, we just kind of, like, instantly win the run. Hopefully we get, um, Rare Joker. Deja Vu is pretty good. So... Blue Seal's also good, because we want Base Mult. We're gonna do Blue Seal early, because if we get random planet cards, that can benefit us a lot. Uh, so we only need to play two hands. So anything with times two instantly wins us the hand. Like that. That's 300 times two. All right, so Stuntman might be the single strongest joker for gold stake because the thing you want the most for gold stake is, um, I mean, I'll get both of them. The thing you want for gold stake is like high cards, <laughs> which this does, so. Like high cards or pairs, which Stuntman's really good for. And a Pluto. We got a Pluto. We got a Pluto. We got a Stuntman. We're good. Like, we're good. This is the this is the run, boys. Or girls. Or whatever. Uh, these are terrible. I mean, I'll take two pair. We just, we only have a hand size of five. <laughs> um, it doesn't really matter, fortunately, but it might, like, you must play five cards. So we're getting this out of the way now, which means we can actually lower our hand size later, and it's not a big deal. I think I discard this. Like, if we get a flush, it's really fine. I mean, no, I, I shouldn't. I should just take the win, shouldn't I? Yeah, I, I'm on green deck. I can't deck around with discards as much as I would like to. Uh, we're never going to be playing flushes, so that doesn't do anything. We're never going to be doing that, so that doesn't really do anything. We'll buy these while they're not too, too expensive. Extra money is beautiful. Consumable slot is fine. We want the upgraded version of that. So we'll do that. Odd Todd doesn't really do anything because we already have our chips sorted. So we'll save our money. Must play five cards. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I can't use the blue seal. That sucks. It's fine. It's fine. We still win very quickly. Get a lot of money. Like a lot of money. Like, whoa. Like, whoa, money. Uh, th that's crazy. Two big vouchers for green deck. We buy the Temperance. I probably shouldn't have used it right now. That's a burnt Joker. That's a burnt Joker stuntman. Uh, that that actually is like an insane combo. Oh my god. Um, so now we just discard high cards. And we do that every round. And then we win. Because what is my high card at now? 2300? It's literally better to play a high card than it is to play a pair already. Um, okay, so any kind of more scaling with uh, is just going to be massive. So we get one. I mean, we do that. That's fine. Extra money is good. One more. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. There we go. And that's... That's how you win at gold stake. You just find like the the Exodia combo. You, that, easy, right? It's so easy. You just find Exodia and then you win. Um, I could have won in one hand. I chose not to. Does that work? Compatible. Does that give me a hand size of three? Or does it just give me the chips? I, I don't know how that works. I'm a little afraid. Uh, well, d do we care? I guess we could destroy, I mean, we're just playing high cards. So like even on Exag, it's not that good. I don't even think we care about that. We'll buy this and hope to get Pluto, which it, I guess it doesn't really matter if we get Pluto or not because we have the three of a kind, or not the three of a kind, the burnt joker value. Uh, so does it change it to three? It does not change it to three. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is upgrade our high card. I will be doing that and that and then yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I love Burn Joker. I love it so, so much. And I love Brainstorm uh, for obvious reasons. That's a ton of good malt. So we'll get rid of you because we're going to be playing nothing but high cards. So we'll just be doing that. Uh, I don't need chips, fortunately. We'll buy this because it might be something amazing. 
It is absolutely fantastically wonderfully amazing. I'm gonna buy card sharp because it's all of the things that I just said that it was. This isn't like how to win a gold stake. This isn't your normal run. This is crazy. This is so strong. Oh my God, I cannot lose this. If I lose this, I'm gonna be so upset. Oh no. Uh, yep, we're good. Do that. And then because it's at nine already, I would put it at card sharp here before supernova. But do I just win in one? I do not win in one. But I would put card sharp here. And now do I win in two? Yeah, yeah, we win in two. Okay. We win very, very convincingly in two. Doesn't matter. So we just keep it like this? Uh, I guess, I, yeah, it really doesn't matter because this doesn't trigger until the second. So we can just keep it like this and then I can swap them over. Very easy, very easy. Uh, discard high card. Beautiful. Supernova, play. 12,000, and then the next one is gonna be much more than 12,000. It's in fact much more than 12,000. I think we already beat anti-8. Like, I think we've already beaten anti-8. Like, this this is very much not a how to win. Um, because you, I hit Stuntman, Burnt Joker, Brainstorm within the first two antis or something. Like, it, it's just, oh no! What? Whatever will I do? I can't see my cards. That's awful. That's such a huge, it's such a huge issue. I'm, I'm, I'm in so much trouble now. Oh no. Oh no, behold all of my problems. Mm. 4x and anti-5 boss, or anti-4 boss. Cold stake, easy. Yeah, so this game is obviously super difficult. Um, and if you're struggling with it, it's totally understandable. Uh, just like, look how hard this is. This is crazy, this is ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna buy ones I haven't uh, got before in case I find telescope, because I might actually take it. I'm not gonna spend more money on it though. I'll buy Planet Merchant because I could get Pluto. Why does Swashbuckler keep showing up? I don't want you. You're not good enough. Be gone. All right, so we discard you. No, I didn't double it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. If only people left comments, then they could be mad at me. <laughs> but I think I'm making this for myself, so I don't think it matters. I, I made a mistake. Oh no, I'm the only one here to care about it. <laughs> Which does take the pressure off, which is nice. If people started like watching this and caring about it, then it would be much more difficult for me to, you know, get away with making horrific misplays, which is the only way that I know how to play almost any game. So we get rid of that, double this. I don't think it matters. Like it's, it's, it, it is scaling, but like one molt isn't a huge deal. Cause like we already win. Do we win if it's the violet vessel thing? So that's 80,000 times four. We do not win. We do actually have to get stronger. That's not necessary. That would be super, super good, but it's not necessary. Uh, nope. All diamond cards are debuffed. What? Wait, put it back. <laughs> I'm on camera. Don't, don't, don't fuck it up again. I'm on camera. Uh, so we just do that and we play. And then we do that. And then we play. Thought man is awesome. Oh my god. Alright, so that's a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand times four is still not nearly enough, but we are getting there. Um, that's amazing. And now it's actually worth buying um, Spectral Packs again. Do I buy that? Am I when am I getting out of Burn Joker? Like when is Burn Joker not worth it? I think the answer is never, and you can take it from me when I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I love Burn Joker so much. I love it. I love that like recurring scaling value. It makes me so happy. Um so we're just gonna do this, it's all good. Card Sharp was huge, because if we didn't have Card Sharp, this would be a lot closer, but because we have Card Sharp, it's it's not close. Um, if we could find a blueprint, that would be amazing. Oh, I want I want that, because I want the banana. Uh, give me Immolate, actually, Immolate would be great. Uh, I don't care. I guess, I guess we'll take more jacks, I don't, I don't care. Uh, okay. Ooh, ooh, sorry, Burn Joker. You're not worth it anymore. Oh, that hurts me, but it's fine. Does not Chico. Oh, Canio. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, we have, we have a plan. We have a, we have a functioning, we have a functioning plan now. Um, I don't have to use discards anymore, so that just makes me more money, doesn't it? Play hand, fine. Play hand. Now we just have to destroy face cards. And I made more jacks, which is awesome. I totally knew this was gonna happen. 
absolutely blessed. Uh, Emily. Um, I'm gonna turn you both into jacks. Or oh, this could be hangmen. Or I could turn them both into jacks. I need more money. I'm not selling any of my jokers. Shut up, brain. I'm not doing that. You can't make me. It's not worth it. I need, I need one hanged man. And then this run is so unbelievably over. Just instantaneously, fantastically over. Because uh, then we actually do beat the Violet Vessel. Oh, that's not good. That's not, oh, we buy glass because glass is a potential way to break face guards. Um, we double money. I should have bought this after. We double we double money because we need money to find hanged men. Oh, we can do both. I was totally paying attention. I mean, we do that because I love it. That wasn't correct, but I love it. No, I'm get I'm gonna get very desperate for this. You're, you're I'm gonna be like a crack whore for it. I want it. All right, you break, and then the whole run is just an insta win. No. Now we lose to Violet Vessel, if we get it. Cause like, we beat everything else. Like, if we have to sell out of a Joker, that would suck. But, I mean, Kanio's currently doing nothing and we would win, so it's it's fine. Um, the only issue would be Violet Vessel, which is the only thing I have to play around right now. Which does mean I actually have to get Kanio rolling if I want to beat Violet Vessel. So that's another thing about Gold Stake, is you kind of need to know what you lose to and play around it pretty well. Because at, like, White Stake, it doesn't matter. You could fall out of your chair and still win. But, like, we're already falling off. Like, we will easily win, but if we get Violet Vessel, we don't. Which means... I kind of have to play really aggressively to get around that. That's a big deal. That's actually a super big deal. This is going to take me three hands to win, I think. Um, it's still correct to do Card Sharp there. Oh, it's going to take me four hands. That sucks. Yeah. I mean, we did win. We just don't get as much money for it. But like, yeah, so we get to anti-8, and if it's Violet Vessel, we have to destroy some face cards or we lose. Uh, it, I, I can't see. Right, I cannot see. All right, so I can afford both of these, that's awesome. Another one? What is this? I mean, Canio's not doing anything. <laughs> Canio's currently not doing anything. Do I just reroll him? I could reroll him. Um, I could destroy one and hope that it hits one of these. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that, actually. No! Unfortunate. I, I know I passed it, but like, god damn it. This is, uh, whatever. Whatever, man. I just have a bunch of enhanced cards now. So, driver's license would actually be pretty good all of a sudden. Driver's license is a possibility. Uh, do I insta win this? I don't think I do. I mean, I did scale this a little more. Supernova's at 35, which is just a good number to be at. Oh yeah, I can check what my, my boss is. Flips and shuffles all joker cards. That could be a problem. Um, that could that could be annoying. I think we win this though. I think I think we win. Um, considering I can just sell Canio, so it's only a four, and then like I I just have to find card sharp, which will be the only thing that doesn't trigger on the first hand. Um, I don't actually have to sell Canio. I want Canio to work. We just play three hands here and win. And then a boss, we play four hands and win. Uh, well, maybe five, because I have to reshuffle everything. All right, so this will be the one I can't sell. All right, so you go there. And then we just look for the one that doesn't trigger. So what you do for this is you go to options and you turn your game speed down. I'm gonna turn it to one. And we just see the one that doesn't trigger. Okay, not you, not you, which means it's one of these two. So we'll try that. Times three malt, we already got there. Now, oh my God, turn this back up to times four before I lose my mind. All right, so that's how to win a gold stick. Um, you just need to know what you're playing for and then get obscenely lucky with the Exodia combo. Um, but you also have to know what the Exodia combo is. So 
The Exodia combo is basically anything that hard scales you and gives you like all the things you could ever need right away. So Burnt Joker gave me um, scaly molten chips every combat. Um, the Brainstorm is just insane. It doubles everything that's good. Um, Stuntman is probably the strongest Joker for like Gold Stake just on its own because of what it does. Uh, and then I grabbed Supernova because I just needed Multiplier, and then I knew I was going to be playing high cards a lot, so it worked out well. Um, but yeah, we didn't even need the Caneo, so that's how strong that was. We basically won that with four Jokers. Uh, yeah. I will be trying to make more videos now that my wedding's over, and things have kind of settled down, so hopefully I will see you soon. I'm still working on the big project, which, again, I think I'm just working on for me, but we'll see if anyone else cares. Um, yeah, uh, laters.